Alright guys, welcome back <laughs> to a brand new episode of ARK on the Gaming Evolved Vanilla with Sprinkle server. And uh, we're heading over to the Redwood right now because we're going to tame up some Megatherium today. Yes, um, we we have all the kibble, we have all the good stuff. Um, luckily we had tamed up the Megalania before because you need Megalania eggs to make the kibble for the Megatherium. Uh, what are we, are we low on stam? Yeah, we gotta wait for our time to regen here. So yeah, you need you need Megalania eggs, you need honey, uh, chitin, and then like the general stuff like Medjo berries and like fiber and all that good stuff. And the saddle is unlocked at level 50 something, 53 I think, and it doesn't cost too many Engram points as well to uh, actually let's have a little look here. Mega. I get there, I am 52, and it costs 24 anger boys to unlock. So pretty good, not too bad, not too bad. Now this Megalania, or this Megatherium, <laughs> Megalania, this Megatherium is going to be very useful for actually gathering up um, chitin. Now at this point in the game for me, it's not going to be, it's probably not going to be like a dino that I use all the time. I'll probably use it occasionally whenever I need it, but for me, I have like snails and stuff at this point, and... Uh, you know, like, chitin's never really much of an issue at this point. Or, like, cementing paste is never much of an issue at this point. So I don't really need chitin a lot. Oh, what is that? Oh, hey, Palavia. Die, buddy. By the way, we're bringing out the uh, Uteranus for this one. This is the mutated one that we got in the last episode. Uh, so, yeah, we're bringing this guy out because I want to see if he's going to be useful for actually taming up creatures. Because he has kind of, like, the fear roar. So if I could fear roar a creature and then try to tame it like does that work I'm not even sure we're gonna try to figure it out here though see if they are actually useful for taming so anyway if at any point in this video you find yourself liking this video be sure to beat the crap out of that like button it really does help me out lots of great support going on on the channel for these update videos lately Ooh, we stop him for a poop there we go let's kill this Rex here so yeah lots of great support and uh, let's try to keep that up Ooh, there's some Kentros here too so this might be a little tricksy there we go we got him 156 Kentro not bad. Let's kill this Rex here. He's almost dead. So finally they actually fixed the bug where you couldn't actually damage Rexes, so pretty happy about that. Luckily we can do that now. A lot of people were complaining. <laughs> 162 Rex. It's okay, we have really high Rexes. It's fine. Alright, so I've seen Megalania over here towards like the little lake in the Redwood. What is that? It's an Anki. Oh, what are you? Oh, it's the little uh, hyenas. Cool. I didn't know they spawned in here too. So yeah, I've seen them over here. Uh, so I think we're gonna head over in this direction and try to actually find one here on cam um, Okay, I think the lake is just up ahead here. That's not one over there. Okay grand So these guys eat the kibble and they also eat honey as well And I've heard that these guys are actually omnivores as well. So they'll eat plant matter and they'll eat um, Like I guess insect matter obviously they'll eat meat and stuff once they like kill insects and stuff So omnivore is pretty cool Pretty amazing. So now we have like quite a few omnivores in the game. Oh, you nearly got me there. Holy crap. Let's uh, see if we can do the roar on this guy. Oh, we can. <laughs> Get back up your tree, man. Look at that. I thought he was going to climb up. That would have been funny. Okay. So over in this direction, I imagine. This is where I saw them before. Uh, I don't see any right now. You can keep looking, though. I saw them over kind of towards the bridge over there. Let's just force feed a little bit so we can get some stam back here. I also got some levels as well, actually. Let's uh, let's go ahead and pump some more melee. Might as well. Man, these Uteranus are really cool. I gotta say. <laughs> really awesome new creature. I gotta try out some things with this thing. We're probably gonna bring it into like a boss arena and try to do that. Maybe even the tech cave too. I don't know. We're gonna we're just gonna see if they're if they're useful for that type of thing. For like end game uses rather than just raiding. But, uh, yeah, pretty freaking amazing creature. Where are the giant slots? Okay. Definitely want to try and find one in the field here. Uh, is that there is a, those are bears? Okay. Let's have a look over here. Don't see any. Come on. Let me find one on cam. I don't want to have to take a cut. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, that's another Thyla right there. Look at that. It's freaking everywhere. These guys are just like jumping out of the trees trying to get me. Like, it's crazy. It's insane. We just got another level as well. Okay, so we finally found one right over here on the edge of the Redwood. What level are you? Ugh, that's a level 12. Hmm, I kind of want to keep looking. I don't really want to just tame like a low level because I want to do some breeding and actually see if they're good. 
We'll, we'll go ahead and just kill this guy anyway. Well, actually, first of all, let's see if we could do our roars on it, if they work. Okay, so Fear Roar does work on it, and it seems like, uh, it seems like you'll probably have to do two. Oh, if he was in right, okay, if he was in front of me, I probably would have got him with that one. <laughs> let's just kill him anyway. Man, awesome. Do we get pelt? Yeah, we do get pelt. Sweet, okay. So, that's one of them anyway, so they definitely do spawn in the redwood. I saw them over there, and I was kind of thinking, like, Hmm, maybe they spawn maybe they spawn in the swamp and they walked up or something, but no. They actually do spawn here. Pretty good. Pretty freaking amazing. What do we have around here? Come on. Give me another one. Nope. Not really. Okay. I'm just gonna keep walking around. Maybe I can find another one here on the coast. But I put on my tech helmet so we can try to track them a little bit easier. And uh, maybe get these guys tamed quicker. Alright, well I'm gonna keep looking anyway. Okay, well we found one. It's a 144 female, so pretty decent level, I guess. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's do the roar here. Send this thing flying. Okay, one more of those, and then it should hopefully be scared of us. Sweet. So now at this point, we should be able to freely shoot this thing. Oh, how did I miss that one? Might have been server desync or something. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Now he's just legging it away. <laughs> I guess in certain situations it might be good, but I don't know about this one. Oh, am I not reloaded? What? Game. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, that was kind of a bit of a fail. Let's uh, let's run forward here a little bit. There you are, buddy. All right. Let's hit him in the head. Oh, is he gonna attack? Oh, he's attacking. Okay. He's uh. What's he doing? What the hell? Does he not want to attack my, uh, my guy here? Whose Rex was that as well? I just hit my guy. I thought I'd be able to hit him. Oh, wow, he's hitting me. Holy crap, okay. He can hit me on the back of the mount like that when I'm standing. Interesting. He loses aggro pretty quick, though. Okay. Well, let's just leave you there for the moment. And go after this guy. Let's get up onto like a rock or something. Up here should be good. Wow, did he just jump? Yeah, up here looks good. Should be able to get me from here. Unless he can run around and get up. Oh, he's doing all kinds of crazy like jumps and stuff. Alright, ooh. No, he loses aggro like super quick. <laughs> All right, let's keep it up here then, I guess. Okay, stop moving, man. Damn it! Let me turn off that stupid helmet thing. There we go. Not a big fan of the tech helmet. It's really useful, but like it kind of gets annoying sometimes. Is he running from torpor now? Not exactly sure. All right, well that was desync there, but we did hit him. Just didn't count. There we go. Alright, it looks like he's running from Torpor now. Is he out? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Man. Okay. Come on. There we go. In the face. <laughs> Man, this thing is massive. Like, they stand up. They're like... That's definitely a lot bigger than a dire bear. When they stand up. Holy crap. Alright, where's he going now? Come on, buddy. Will you just come back, please? Probably like eight foot tall when he stands up. Let's just run after him, I guess. Alright. He's just, he's just lagging it completely. How did that not count? That would have definitely hit. Man, I feel like we're getting a lot of desync today. Where bets is he? That that freaking hit! I saw that one. <laughs> oh, so much desync today. This is oh whoa, compies. Hey. Wish my Uteranus was with me now. 
So we can scare away these stupid things. Alright, Sloth, come on. You're mine. Alright, come back here, buddy. It's getting super dark now as well. Alright, he's down. Sweet. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. Does the torpor drop quick? No, not very quick at all. Alright, cool. How fast does the food drop? Oh, no, no, no. What's hitting me? What's hitting me? Stay away. Alright, let me turn on night vision mode on my helmet. There we go. A little bit better. Okay, so food drop... Not all that quick, to be honest. It looks like it's pretty slow. Alright, I'm going to go back and grab my Uteranus, and we're going to bring him over to uh, protect the team. It's going to be pretty handy having the Uteranus over here now, because he's going to be able to, like, roar and scare away pretty much anything. Uh, where bits did I put him? Uh, I think he's up here. There he is. What the hell's that? Hey, Banshee. All right, let's head over here. Oh, he's just down by this tree here. Let me actually just... I'm gonna gamma up instead. It's a little bit easier to see. Man, I don't like the redwood. I hate the uh, I hate the light in the redwood. It's like, it's too dark here. <laughs> it really is. It's so hard to make videos of the redwood. Oh man. All right, well we got a dire bear up here. Let's kill this guy. Some like really bad stuff around here. Look, there's a freaking Microraptor. Let's kill some of these dudes. Uh, scare other things away. Oh, we can scare him even though he's down. Interesting. Can we scare Dimorphs? Hmm. Wasn't able to get that one. Nice. Alright, we can pretty much just like run around the area and just like roar at everything coming near us. And just kill that guy a little bit easier oh man all right cool so I think we're gonna wait for this guy to uh, start teaming up here I'll drop in the kibble in a minute don't need to drop it in immediately and uh, yeah I guess I'll see you guys in a couple minutes oh, we got him here we go Ooh, I was tabbed out <laughs> all right what should we even call him uh, I don't even know uh, you know, let's just not aim him for now. <laughs> I can figure it out after. Unfortunately, it's still nighttime. I really, uh, I hate the way nighttime lasts so long. It's so horrible. Let me just gamma up again. Here we go. All right. I actually put on my scanner to see if there was anything around. I guess this isn't too dark right now. All right. Let's try on the saddle then. Took six kibble for this level on our taming rates, which is five times. Okay. Interesting. So he kind of like. Hmm, so he like walks forward on all fours, but like when you stop he stands. Okay, I thought you'd have to switch between and he walks backwards like that. Cool. Okay, what else does he do? So that's uh, left click Right click is a probably some sort of harvesting attack C X do nothing. No, so left click right click and uh, That's about it. So he gathers berries. He gathers a lot of fiber there. Actually look at that he Seems to be gathering quite a lot of uh, seeds there, too. Uh, so he gets thatch. Can I get anything else? I wonder. Did I gather more wood if I hit with this attack? We got a little bit of wood there. Maybe it's the same amount you'd usually get though. All right, we got 65 that time. Yeah, pretty much. Not much. Not much of a difference between them. Okay, pretty good. Definitely handy with the fiber though. Definitely pretty handy. Okay. Um, so he does eat the berries, and apparently he's also supposed to eat meat too. So let's get him. My Uteranus on follow. Uh, is there anything over here I can fight? There was a bunch of bugs, but unfortunately I had to kill them. <laughs> like, I couldn't just leave them there. Like, they were way too close. Alright, is there any bugs over here or something? You know what? I'm going to turn on my helmet so we can see if there are bugs. Alright, well, here comes a terror bird anyway. Let's try it out here. Oh, server safe. Oh, wow. There we go. Okay, so he's not he's not insanely powerful. Uh, what the hell? Stuff is just dying left, right, and center here today. It's ridiculous. Whose stuff is that? <laughs> I see two Rexes die, and then, like, a frog? I'm so confused. Alright. Can we find some bugs, please? We might have to head to the swamp. Yeah, we might head to the swamp here and see if we can find some. What is that? Is that a snail? Oh, I should be able to harvest uh, pretty, 
Could have made a chitin from the snail. Oh, wow. From one snail, we got like 300. 380. That's pretty good. I mean, let's try to find some bugs, though. Cali, get out of the way. He's actually not too slow as well. He's kind of slow, but he's not like he's not too bad. Right, let's see. He's got um, just under 5k health. Not too bad. Uh, the stamina is okay. Uh, the weight is actually pretty good. The melee damage on this one is quite low, but uh, in general it might be... Stop requesting friendship. I don't add people. Stop. <laughs> uh, I wish I could disable that stupid thing from popping up. Um, so yeah, let's see about health. It goes up by a decent amount. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's head over here. All right, that Uteranus is way too close. You gotta go on high there, buddy. You're like stepping right up into the frame every single time you walk forward. All right, um, <laughs> giant sloth versus giant ape. I think we're gonna win. There we go. We win. You know what? Actually, bringing one of these guys into the um, into the swamp cave would be pretty fun. But unfortunately, you'd have to breed one and walk it in though, because you can't just bring these guys in. Can I harvest from? Can I harvest uh, keratin as well? I wonder. Yeah, this guy is not very powerful. I'm supposed to get a buff every single time I kill insects as well, so I definitely need to find some insects to kill. Damn it. It's unfortunately... Unfortunate I killed all of the uh, the bugs that were nearby. I just had to. I couldn't leave them. Oh, man. Okay, well, I'm going to keep looking here. Hopefully we can find a little, a little patch of bugs somewhere. And, uh, yeah, then we'll be back. Okay, found a little pile of insects right here. Let's get the kills. Oh, look at that, we get like a red mist. Nice, how much uh, chitin did we get? We didn't get a huge amount, but like, what does that effect say? Insect killer, why does it have like a little picture of sap? I guess that kind of makes sense in a way. All right, so that means that we get a buff and we should get stronger, I guess. Oh, cool, he has like a little glow, that's amazing. I like that. Is it going to be easier to kill stuff now in general, or is it just insects? Hmm. I can't find any more. Unfortunately, they're not that common around here. I mean, there was a little bit there, but not a huge amount. What the hell's that? Oh, Palavia. Okay, let's try it out in this guy here. Okay, well, it's going to take a little bit. Oh. Okay. Let's try it out. Do we get more? No, it doesn't really look like it. I think we just get stronger when we get that. Just get, like, a bit of a damage buff because we're kind of enraged, I guess. In a way. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, well, this guy's just knocking me back. Uh, let's just kill him. Hmm. Any more insects? Damn. You know what? Like, getting one of these into the chitin cave or something would be amazing. We need to do that at some point. Got a Palavia over there. Oh, we killed him. <laughs> he didn't even jump out of the ground. Okay, get over this little spot. Is there any... There's a snail right here. Maybe we can get a quick kill on him. Oh, wow. Yeah, we one-shot him. I think maybe that's probably increased a little bit. We definitely have increased damage. I mean, we just one-shot a snail. Fair enough, it was a low level, but still... You don't usually, like, one-shot a snail because it has, like, a lot of armor. Holy crap, we're actually pretty hurt here. <laughs> uh, Uteranus, help. Roar at him or something. Do a courage roar. <laughs> Alright, that didn't really help out too much. We just sent an... Was that an archer up the tree? Alright, cool. So I'm gonna try to get another one of these guys tamed up here. And I think we're probably going to do some breeding and see how good they are imprinted. But in general, I mean, like, the fact that you kill insects, like, I mean, bringing them through the swamp would be definitely be amazing. Um, I think we'll probably do that with the imprinted one. 
So, I mean, like, the, yeah, you got you got a decent amount of chitin. They probably are the most efficient thing to harvest chitin with at this point, I'd imagine. And they harvest some fiber as well. It's pretty good. In general, pretty good tame. They can also eat meat as well, can't they? Yeah, he's not losing health. So, as you can see, you can heal him with meat, which is going to be fantastic. Because he will also eat the tasty cakes, I assume, as well. The veggie cakes. Because, I guess, no, the veggie cakes don't work on a dire bear. So, maybe they not maybe they might not work on this guy. Hmm. Let me know if you guys find out about that, actually. But uh, for now, I think I'm going to look for another one of these things, and it has to be a male. And then we'll do some breeding. Alright, okay, so the baby should pop out any second now. Any second now. Pop out. There it is. Okay, we got to move the mom here. Uh, where's this little baby? Oh, look at the little guy. What are you, female? Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. So, are you mutated? No. Didn't think so. Didn't really look like it. So, the dad has kind of like the white hands. Um, it looks like it got the main color by its of its mom. Uh, pretty freaking amazing, though. Look at this little thing. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. They look really grumpy, though, and I don't know why. Man, that's awesome. Okay. So, does he eat chitin as well? Will he eat some of that? Or does he just gather it? I'm not even sure. Alright, so let's try... We can make him sit down, right? Yeah, we can. <laughs> Is it going to work when he's, like, baby? Probably not, actually. Hmm. Because it works when they're adults like this. I mean, look at this thing. I don't even know. It just <laughs> looks so funny just sitting down like that. Are you still unfollowing me? No, you aren't. Okay, let me get you... Disable wandering. Unfollow. Can I get you to sit down? Oh, look, he's sitting down. Look. <laughs> He's just curled up. He could be curled up watching cartoons or something. Oh man, that's awesome. So, uh, pretty good level. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to wait for the imprint here. We've got seven minutes for the first imprint. And uh, yeah, we'll be back then. Okay. So, this little guy wants a walk. So, stand up here, little guy. Or girl, even. <laughs> Come over here. I saw mine that was like flying around here a couple minutes ago. Come on. Is he still here? Can't even tell. Get your imprint. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Oh, whoa. 20%? Why do you get 20%? He's not. Oh, he, he like put his hands up into the air. That's so weird. Why is he getting 20%? He's only 8% matured. That is so confusing. Hmm. All right, well, I don't know why he got, like, 20%. That's kind of weird. Hmm. All right, well, uh, I guess I'll see you guys in a little while here. Uh, yeah. Okay, so he wants to go on a walk. Over here, buddy. Or lady. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. Man, we're definitely going to get a full imprint on this thing. Sweet. Another 20%. That's weird the way it goes up by 20%, though. We're only 20% done, and we've already got, like, 40% so far, so... I don't know, we're definitely gonna get a full imprint, but, uh... I think that's probably gonna be the last imprint I'm gonna show, because... It's just the same thing over and over again. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we're back. And we have our Megatherium fully grown up now. I put some bunny ears on him, because I thought it would look funny. <laughs> so let's head into the swamp here. Ooh, there we go. So I have it fully imprinted as well, by the way, and it's pretty fast. It's pretty powerful. Pretty amazing tame. So let's go ahead and pump up some health here. Okay, so 10k should probably be enough. In terms of everything else, it almost has 2k weight, which is pretty amazing. Uh, the melee damage is pretty good here. We'll probably end up pumping some melee, I'd say, for a little bit here. <laughs> the way it like puts up its hands like that, that's insane looking. Oh, man. All right, let's run over to the swamp over here. I'm not going to run over that hill. Let's run across this little uh, spot right here. So, yeah, I think we're just going to run through here, try to find some... Uh... Ooh, can we break this? Here we go. Try to find some bugs and stuff and, and just see if we can get, like, a big kind of rage train going with this with this effect thing that it has. So we'll just see if we can actually find some bugs in the first place. Uh, well, there's a T-Rex there. Uh, is there any bugs at all? Hmm. Ooh. Getting stuck on stuff. Wow. Uh, I can't see any bugs at all. 
Hmm. Oh, he's getting stuck on everything here. Oh, he can harvest rare mushrooms as well. That's good from the trees. Yeah, most dinos can do that, but uh, that's going to be pretty handy. It's not a huge amount, but still. Yeah, I think this attack, the first one, was a little bit better. Oh, wait, no, that got me nine. I don't know what's better. All right, let's just slice up some frogs here. Got another frog here. Coming in to attack. So does this guy gain much torpor at all? A little bit. Not a huge amount, just a little bit. What do we got over here? I thought I just saw a bug, did I? There's like no bugs in the swamp right now. Where are they all? <laughs> Damn it, stupid bugs. Okay. Um. Let's kill this pig, maybe. Let's kill these pigs. See if we can get some bugs to come in to start eating them. Okay, come on. Can't see any at all. You know, the bugs are everywhere when you don't want them, and then when you do need them, they're just nowhere to be seen. Oh, wow, there's like none at all. What the hell? Where are they? <laughs> oh, come on, this is not fair. <laughs> We're trying to do a video and we need the bugs. Okay, let me let me just run further up this way. Maybe they're all up this way or something. I really don't know. Like, there's usually like a ton of them everywhere. Um, I used to come into this part of the swamp with my oh look an explore note. There's like no ruins there or anything. That's such a weird spot. Um, yeah, I used to come through the swamp right here with my frog when we were using the frog to get this mending paste. Oh, there's a bug at least. I could see one. Kill this guy. So we got our little effect then. So you only need to kill one to get the effect. Looks like I'm a little bit faster as well. That, I might be wrong about that though. I think I just see an, did I just see another one here somewhere? I don't know. Hmm. Uh, let's kill a Sarko here. If there's any bugs nearby, they'll probably come in to uh, start to harvest this guy. Come on. Oh, there's like none today. What is with this? Did they like add too many creatures to Ark and now there's like no bugs spawning? <laughs> what is this crap? Usually there's tons. This is not fair. All right, I'm just gonna go over and kill this Capra really quick. Actually, you know what? You can shoot off the back of these guys, which is really nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh my God. Capra's jumped really far. Uh, I was gonna go ahead and just kill that thing, but it just jumped away. It's fine. So yeah, I, I like the way you could actually shoot off the back of them. Considering how big of a mount they are, it's kind of surprising, I think. Hmm. There's like no more bugs at all. Seriously, come on. There has to be some. Alright, I'm about to lose my little effect thing now. we got like 40 seconds left on it as well. Come on. Alright. Let's kill this dude. Hopefully we'll lead something in. I'm like glitching all over the place. Oh, come on. Wow, what the hell? What happened? Where are all the bugs? I'm so confused. Oh yeah, we could definitely do more damage. We're just, we are just one shot a, a snail earlier and we just one shot another one there as well. It definitely gives us a damage buff. I really wish I could actually like chain a couple bugs together but it just seems like there's none at all today I don't even know why like they're usually there's honestly usually tons of them around here I don't know <laughs> uh, this is the, like the worst example so far because we're not really fighting very many ah oh, come on where are they come on there's usually a lot over here in like this little kind of wooded area Alright, well, there's a bunch of Dillos. I guess I can kill those. <laughs> oh, man. No, where are they? Wait, did he just hit me with a spit? <gasps> the Dillo spit doesn't work on this guy. Oh, wow, they're hit they're hurting me. But the Dilla spit doesn't work. Do you guys see that? Oh, I just killed a bug. Amazing. Finally, at least one bug. We got like 30 chitin from that. That's pretty good, I guess. I don't really know. It's been a long time since I just ran around killing bugs. 
I thought we were beyond this point. There's an explore node in there, I know. I don't want to gather it, though. I want to get onto a mount that I want to level to uh, gather the explore nodes with. Let's kill this Baryonyx, I guess. Okay, well, we found like two bugs so far throughout the whole swamp. <laughs> Alright, let's just keep looking over here, I guess. Honestly, I would have thought we would have like at least had several chains of like different Mega Nura attacks. Maybe they're like avoiding me or something. Maybe that might be a thing. Do they avoid the Megatherium? Because those ones earlier didn't attack me, which was kind of strange. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I might be completely wrong. I don't know. <laughs> it's too early days with these types of things to try to figure it all out. But, um... Either that or we're just not finding any. It's so strange. Here, let me actually turn on my tech helmet. That way we'll be able to point them out a little bit easier. Hmm... Okay, well, this isn't really working out very well, is it? Oh, a Diplo uh, Collis. I never really see those at all. Alright, let's go kill the snail over here. We can at least kill snails. Found more snails than we found Meganura out here. Jeez. Okay, are we getting a little bit heavy? Oh, we are. We got a decent amount of chitin. I guess I can save some of it. I mean, I don't really need it, but <laughs> I guess I can take it. I don't know. Like, at this point in the game, I'm not really, I'm not, I don't really need very many of these things, like a dino to gather chitin, but it's definitely fun to check it out and just see if it is useful. And I can see, you know, definitely people will, people will use them. Um, they're pretty good. They gather up a lot. For some reason, we're not able to actually find any, but, uh, they gather up a lot of chitin from, like, bugs, and I recommend just killing snails, though. Like, you seem to get it quite a lot from the snails, specifically. Hmm. Any over here? At all? Like this? What? What's happening today? Uh. All right. Well, I'm gonna try to find some more bugs, and I guess I'll bring you guys back. Oh! Oh! Right. No. No. We found some. Finally. Found some of them. Now, do we get like an extra timer? I think the timer just has been refreshing whenever we kill a bug. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's. I guess let's kill the Sarko here. Yeah. Alright, that's a 156 Sarko. We killed that thing pretty quick as well. Did we harvest it or... Hmm, I don't know. Oh look, here's a bug. Okay, cool. So your little timer up in the corner, your uh, insect killer, goes up every single time that you kill a bug. Which is good. I mean, like... It's nice the way it actually, like, uh, refreshes the little timer. It's definitely handy. It's it's funny how now we're finding them. <laughs> oh man. Uh, there's some more over there. What the hell? I don't even. Where were all of these five minutes ago? Okay. This guy's dead. Come on over, guys. Come on over for a feeding frenzy. Let me kill all of you. Nice. Okay. You know what? I really want to bring one of these guys into the uh, into the swamp cave, and I think at some point we will actually breed one up and bring it in. I think that'd be kind of fun. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Do we gather more chitin if we do that attack? I wonder. Hmm. Not sure. Let's hit it with this. No, wait. No, you're not. A, never mind. I thought that was a uh, bug. Huh. Ooh, Sarka or Capro even. We got another one right here. Okay, so it only looks like you're able to uh, harvest with the uh, with the claw attack. Okay, interesting. Guy's dead. Sweet. I think there was another one here somewhere. Right there, he is. Look, there's a bunch of them. Where were they? <laughs> they made me look the fool, and then they just all appear afterwards. That's great. Oh, I think we're full. That's why I'm not harvesting anything. Oh man, alright, let's drop all that crap. Kill the snail. 400 chitin, pretty amazing. <laughs> oh man. Oh, there's another snail. These things are like little chitin, like gold mines. Look, we got 500 from that one. Holy crap.
there should be like a snail cave, I think, in Ark. They need to make like a cave specifically filled with only snails. And then like a giant snail boss at the end or something. That could be kind of fun. Hmm. Okay, so guys, that's probably going to be it for today, actually. Um, these things are pretty cool. I mean, what do you guys think of them? I really like that effect around their face. That's definitely something that I love about them. And I like the bunny ears on it, too. <laughs> so what do you guys think about these creatures? Are they useful for you? Do you think you'll tame them? Let me know what you guys think. I think that they're pretty good. They gather the kite, and they actually... They're probably more useful for the frickin' fiber instead. I mean, like, that's pretty handy. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear some opini opinions down below. And, uh, you know what, guys? If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more as well, go ahead and subscribe. We've tamed every other creature in the patch if you guys want to check out those videos. And, uh, yeah, I guess I will catch you guys next time.